for the mentalist Kreskin. See the amazing Kreskin. Jaron Criswell King, born Jaron Criswell Koenig, and known by his stage name The Amazing Criswell, K-R-Z-W-L, was an American psychic known for wildly inaccurate predictions. In person, he went by Charles Criswell King, and was sometimes credited as Jerem King Criswell. Criswell was flamboyant, with spit-curled hair, a stentorian style of speaking, and a sequined tuxedo. He owned a coffin in which he claimed to sleep. He grew up in a troubled family in Indiana with relatives who owned a funeral home, and said that he became comfortable with sleeping in caskets in the storeroom. The casket appeared in one of Edward's later works, the 1971 pornographic film Necromania. Career Criswell said he had once worked as a radio announcer and news broadcaster. He began buying time on a local Los Angeles television station in the early 1950s to run infomercials for his Criswell family vitamins. To fill the time, he began his Criswell Predicts part of the show. This made him a minor offbeat celebrity in Los Angeles and around Hollywood, and his friendship with old show business people such as Mae West and rising fringe celebrities such as Caller Pandit made Chris Well an entertaining presence at parties. His fame brought him appearances on The Jack Parr Show which allowed him to publish his predictions in three publications of Spaceway magazine, as well as run a weekly syndicated newspaper article. He later published three books of predictions, From Now to the Year 2000, Your Next Ten Years, and Forbidden Predictions. He also recorded a long-playing record, Your Incredible Future, featuring 84 minutes of his predictions in his own voice. Criswell appeared in the movies of writer and director Ed Wood. After Criswell's death, his longtime friend Paul Marco released Criswell's song Someone Walked Over My Grave on a 7 record which was recorded by Criswell as a memorial song that he wanted released posthumously. Filmography, recording and television appearances predictions. Criswell's predictions were nationally syndicated and he appeared on the television show Criswell Predicts on KLAC Channel 13 in Los Angeles as well, as being recorded for syndication. His announcer was Bob Shields, who later played the judge on divorce court. Criswell wore heavy makeup in public after his live program was broadcast in Los Angeles. Only selected people were allowed in the KCOP studio during his broadcast. Criswell wrote several books of predictions, including 1968's Criswell Predicts, from now to the year 2000. In it, he claimed that Denver would be struck by a ray from space that would cause all metal to adopt the qualities of rubber, leading to horrific accidents at amusement parks. He predicted mass cannibalism and the end of planet Earth, which he set as happening on August 18, 1999. Criswell was a student of history. He believed history repeated itself, that the United States were the modern Romans. Each day, he read the St. Louis Post-Dispatch looking for clues for his predictions. Some sources claim Criswell's most famous prediction was on the Jack Parr program in March 1963, when he predicted John F. Kennedy would not run for re-election in 1964 because something was going to happen to him in November 1963. Sources say that Criswell never claimed to be a real psychic, however, those who knew him, such as actress and fellow Plan 9 alumna Mayla Nermi, believed he was According to writer Charles A. Coulomb, whose family rented an apartment from him, Criswell told Coulomb's father, I had the gift, but lost it when I started taking money for it. Private life. Criswell married a former speakeasy dancer named Halo Meadows, who appeared on You Bet Your Life, and whom Coulomb describes as quite mad. Mrs. Criswell had a huge standard poodle which she was convinced was the reincarnation of her cousin Thomas. She spent a great deal of time sunbathing, which, given her size, 
was not too pleasing a sight, May West use of Chris Well as her personal psychic. He once predicted her rise to President of the United States, whereupon she, Chris Well and George Liberace, the brother of showman Liberace, would take a rocket to the moon. It is said that West sold Chris Well her old luxury cars for $5. He died in 1982. Legacy in 1955, May West, known as the fabulous May West, wrote and recorded a song called Criswell Predicts. In 1994, Criswell was portrayed in the Tim Burton biopic Edward by actor Jeffrey Jones. In 1997, including Sean Philip Mabry, have played Criswell in Plan 9 from Outer Space, the musical written by David G. Smith. In 1999, the film, Devil Girls, featured a portrayal of Chris Well by Rob Gordon. In 2005, Chris Well and the Plan 9 cast were lampooned in an episode of the television series, Deadly Cinema, and clips of this episode were featured in the documentary, Vampire, the movie. In 2006, Craig Brown played Chris Well in Plan Live from Outer Space a stage adaptation of Plan 9 from Outer Space which won a Canadian Comedy Award the following year. In 2009, a teaser trailer was released by Darkstone Entertainment for the upcoming John Johnson film Plan 9, a remake of Plan 9 from Outer Space. The voice of popular television horror host Mr. Lobo can be heard narrating the trailer as Chris Well. He will also star in the film as Chris Well, who has a much larger role in this reimagining of the original Edward story. In addition, for the purpose of promoting the film on the internet, Mr. Lobo has produced 62 episodes of Chris Well Predicts which is a parody and homage to Criswell's original television program of the same name sans the exclamation mark.